Hello, today I want to talk about one of the things I see wrong in the pub or in the local leagues so, so often, and it's the screw shot and the inability for some people to be able to play the screw shot. And what I mean by the screw shot, I mean the backspin shot. We're trying to pot a ball and get the cue ball to spin back towards us. And I'm going to show you what I see in the pub, and it's a big, big no-no. You just, you can't screw the ball like this. What happens is people end up on a shot, they want to screw the ball back to themselves, so they think they have to first of all hit the ball really, really hard. So they gear themselves up to hit the ball really hard, which doesn't work. You don't, you ha you, it's about good cueing rather than trying to hit the ball really, really firm. And you do that, trying to hit the ball really hard, coupled with the other big mistake and the other massive no-no, and that's digging down on the ball. The amount of people I see really raising the butt of the cue and really trying to dig down on the ball trying to, to I, don't, I don't really know why, because it's completely the opposite of what, you're, what you actually want to do. So this is the shot I see all the time, really digging down on the ball. And what happens is, you, get, you don't get the backspin you're after. Okay, sometimes you might come back a fraction, but n not much at all, and certainly not with any backspin or screw. Um, or you, you can end up missing the pot, the cue ball can jump off the table. The, you see there, about air time I got on that shot, because you're punching down on the ball so with so much pace, you're going to make the cue ball be deck bouncing. So there's a lot that can go wrong when you play the shot like that. And the one thing you're not going to get, you're not going to get the screw you wanted. Remember, I talked about that shot, trying to screw the cue ball back to this end of the table, and we've ended up at that end of the table, even though we still made the pot. So everything that I've just shown you is a massive, massive no-no. You do not do it. That is not the way to generate backspin. The way to generate backspin is through good cueing and smooth cueing and driving the cue through the bottom of the ball. The first thing, before I set that up, let me just show you. The first thing is we're gonna, we're gonna, we wanna hit the bottom of the ball, but rather than digging down to the bottom of the ball, we're gonna lower the cue to the bottom of the ball. So what I mean by that, you wanna keep the cue nice, as parallel as you can. So if you get the cue parallel to the table, that is how I would normally cue to the middle of the ball. Nice, solid bridge hand, knuckles raised just a fraction, and the cue, ball is, the cue is as level as I can make it to the, the middle of the ball. Now, if I'm playing a screw shot, I lower my bridge hand, so my knuckles are now on the ground, uh, on the table. And then that, what that does is that, that lowers the cue. So rather than digging down, I've lowered everything. The cue is lowered, so I'm at the bottom of the ball because I've lowered my bridge hand. So I'm gonna hit the bottom of the ball, but keeping the cue really parallel to the table. You do not want to be digging down on the table. You want to get it as parallel as possible. Although it's not possible to get it absolutely parallel, but you want to get as close as you possibly can. So that's the first thing we need to do. We're going to hit the bottom of the ball by lowering our, our whole uh, our bridge hand and the whole cue rather than digging down. The next thing we need to do is we need to get that sensation of driving our cue through the ball, cueing nicely and through it. So rather than queuing up to the ball and stopping at the ball, like a jabby motion, stopping here or just past the ball. We want to get that sensation of really driving the cue through the ball. So when we play the shot, we want to get the feeling like we're driving the cue through the ball to generate the spin. So by hitting at the bottom of the ball, driving the cue through the ball, it's going to make the ball start spinning back towards us. It's going to make the ball spin backwards. So when it's coming down the table, it's spinning back toward the, towards us like that. It'll hit that ball there. And as soon as it hits that ball, the spin starts to make the cue ball come back towards us. So that's how we bring it back. And we can do all that without having to hit the ball hard. Yes, you can do it. You can still hit the ball hard and do that, but you, it, you don't need to hit the ball hard. The harder you hit it, if you get the technique right, the more it will come back and fly around the table. So we don't ever, ever really need to play the shot that hard at all. Let me put everything I've just talked about into practice. I'm going to play a nice medium level shot and try and screw the cue ball back into the top half of the table. So, lower my bridge hand, lower my cue, bottom of the ball, and then drive it through the ball. Generated lots of backspin back to the top of the table. And, and actually, you, you can play the shot really slowly and still get backspin. You don't have to really hit the ball hard or even a medium pace to get the backspin. You can still play the, the shot slowly and generate backspin. It won't come back as far, but it will generate nice spin. I'm gonna show you that again. Let's see if I can hit this softer to really prove that you don't have to hit the ball hard at all. Lower my bridge hand, cue at the bottom of the ball, nice and level with the table, and you just gently through it. Cue ball comes back nicely. Didn't hit that hard at all. I can go even slower and, and really highlight the point here. Just gonna, Go even slower, same again, cue ball, right at the bottom of the cue ball, 
Cue on the hand on the table, nice and flat. I barely touched that and the cue ball is still raced back here. So that's how you play the screw shot. A couple of big no-nos. Do not try and dig down on the ball with huge amounts of, of power and hit it hard. That will not work. It will be, do exactly the opposite of what you're trying to do. You lower your bridge hand, keep the cue nice and parallel to the table, drive the cue through the ball nice and smoothly, generate that spin and it will come back to you. So if you, are, if you have been struggling with that, that's something that you've, you've done differently, then, then give this one a go, guys. I think you'll be surprised how simple this shot can be. And of course, if you, uh, if you do give it a go, then let me know what you think. If it's something that comes easy to, to you, then let me know. I'd love to hear from absolutely everybody. Uh, thank you for watching as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I've got lots of content coming. Um, so please, if you subscribe, you'll be notified. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.